All right. Well, here it is. IS4 Bingo Lockout. Uh, Wookie, hi. How are you doing? Are you alive down there, or are you still busy looking at all those Cylons? There's good skins to look at, okay? But I'm, I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I think. Oh, all right. Excellent. We we, we managed to retrieve Wookie from the Psylocke cellar. Thank you, Wookie. It's not a cellar. It's a basement. Granted, I'm not 100 percent sure of the difference, but. Well, no, you see, basement you can just store anything in, but like cellar, you store fine wine, and the Psylocke not age like fine wine. Anyways, hold on a second. Aren't we supposed to be here for like IS4 or something? Yeah, there's like a whole show match going on right now, I think, right? Yeah, I think it has something to do with that weird team called like Lungman Dragons or something, whatever those guys are up to, and maybe like an Undusk? Undusk, and then I think there's a uh, there's a like, team involved and a silver god? Yeah, and um, yeah, they're in teams, right? I don't know, kind of weird. Personally, I'm more of a Zafang X E fan than a Zafang X Undusk fan, but like, hey, you know what? I'm willing to give it a chance. Uh, I mean, well, the, the, the Q gun seems like uh, they, they might know what they're doing here. Oh, okay. Are, 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 we, are, we just, are we just taking sides? Do you, do you want to put some channel points in on this? Or? You're putting some shadow points in there. No, I'm kidding. I, I think that'd be insider trading. Uh, insider trading. I think sports betting would uh, probably come after us for that one, so we should probably not do that. How play sports betting is regulated, but I digress. <laughs> Anyways, so Wookie, how have you been doing on your IS4 uh, explorations? Have you been playing a lot, or what raving are you on? I have been pushing as far as I can, but I haven't been on vacation. You've been I... on vacation? Yeah, I've actually just got back from, uh, from Seattle, actually. I got oh. back yesterday, funnily enough. Oh. Hey, just in time. Personally, I've been, you know, up in Sami for five million hours. I got my Bird Knights Bravery 15, but, um, yeah. hold on, I'm actually curious. I wonder how far our contestants have gotten. Do you I actually... Have... Oh, no, go ahead. Oh, see, I was, I was not able to push very far so far. Again, big vacation things. But, um, vacation things and, and whatnot. Uh, understandable. Also niche so, training. <laughs> also ahead. understandable. I can imagine that dragons have a relatively rougher time with limited block operations, but here's what I'm curious about. Do you think that higher progression and surging actually makes a difference when it comes to what we're going to be seeing today? Um, well, given the way that the tournament works, I'm not necessarily sure if being able to push further might translate to, you know, fighting for points on bingo board. Because at the end of the day, it's like, if you're pushing for high surging, in general, you're looking more just for the clear, right? You're not quite looking for like, well, let me hit everything along the way. Like, what, what's the best way to do this specific thing? It's like, you're kind of just trying to get it at the end of the day, right? Because that's all you really need to do to get the official clear for that difficulty. This is true, and also there's the added question in this kind of format between speedrunning and bingo of if you take the boss key, because at high surging, like, it is obvious that you see a boss key, you go for the boss key, so it'll be interesting to see how our players navigate that mechanic, but I will say, one thing that I am very much appreciating uh, with IS4 over IS3 is that we actually get to interact with both the positive and the negative mechanics. In IS3, we didn't really get to have enlightenment interactions if you went above surging zero, but now, no matter how high you go on raving, you can still benefit from the full dartles or get utterly whammied by a bad collapsal paradigm, so I really appreciate that format change and it'll be interesting to see how our players handle that yeah i like i like personally i very much like what is4 has done it feels like players have a lot more agency in like having more control over their run where you know you have your full darthals you can you know you have ones where it's like you don't feel like doing a four or five emergency you know you have it you can just turn into a shop and move along right or even better the meta for braving nature 15 is you take ending two you cast prophecy on the four or five fight and then you just don't take ending two unless you want to exactly you just have a free i mean you basically have like a free bailout button just being able to cast prophecy on things at this point with the uh the ending two what is it the ending two full largel exactly I... oops free real estate First, personally, I, like the first time I was going through ending two, I was going through thinking like, okay, you know, it's like, it's like you know, the other day it's like, okay, I either got to do like some escort quests or I got to do like whatever fight to get the ending two, and it's like, oh, 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 you're saying that 
it's it's just take more collapse value or you, you just get the thing oh well this makes life easier it really does although given there are, I have, i've heard some mixed reviews about being able to skip combat entirely on floor five but like it's still a reward of you playing well and knowing how to manage the IS-4 mechanics. Like, what I've said to so many people I've talked with about IS-4 is that the difficulty or reward that you face in your run is directly proportional to the player's own skill as a player and their ability to forecast what they need for that run. Yeah, it feels very, again, like, I, like I've been saying, like, it feels like you have a lot of player agency involved in it. You can make your own risk-reward choices. Like, yes, there's still the RNG that you'd expect from, you know, from IS in general, but it feels in a way that's more controllable. Like, you're able to adjust for, you know, you're like, okay, well, uh, you know, you, you don't want to take that fight on, on this node, right? But you want to take the other fight on the other node. And also the vertical mobility with the interference index, you can choose, like, okay, you know, I want to burn some index to go, you know, to go up because I like this particular node, right? Just the ability of, of free movement is so much nicer. You're not like fiddling with keys or something anymore. Exactly. And you're also directly more in control of what you run into, given that, well, you're not rolling fours on dice all the time. Goody four, we're looking at you. We see you in the chat. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, I, I wouldn't know anything about that one. I was, uh, uh chat, don't kill me. I may or may not, I may or may not have been a uh, high roll. Good, um, that was our that happened in the first bingo lockout show match. Goody needed a five and he rolled a four and he muck freaking lost it on stream. It was great. I hope someone has it clipped. But no. what I want to know is what you think of the uh most frequently taken operators in is4 if anyone in the chat wants to follow along all you have to do is open up the is4 page go to the top corner top left corner click on explorer's manual and go to the data rollback so we've got a lot like we've got a lot of common faces here we've got myrtle in the vanguards uh we've got let's see we've got spot as a defender always a solid pick but what i'm really surprised by is the medic lineup we've got reed alter aya fiala alter and and calcet damage dealing and also aya because like aya i guess well i mean aya does have the reputation of bigly heals many heals going everywhere me i'm to me as the uh, unbiased dragon enthusiast that i am i see a reed alter and i'm pretty happy like look sometimes you just have to choose kaboom with s3 this is true, and I've heard from plenty of people, including one of our very own future contestants, Tobaro, that Reed Alter is a very solid start, especially given the Braving Nature rework, where Arts Damage is, thank God, actually viable this time. Mm hmm Thankfully viable. And, uh, so speaking of viable, let's see what strats that are, um, let's see what strats that, or what, well, maybe not strats, but let's see what our... Let's see what our contestants are going to have to start, like, fighting over here. is that the navigator is you know is navigating our explorer but i think the way i've seen it was the nav the navigator is the driver and the explorer is the car at this point so, <laughs> so hold on wait then who's the passenger <laughs> sorry well, you, a like, you gotta, joke well you gotta bring him on 
Oh, okay. Well, hold on a second. This, some of this looks like completely wild. Clear a stage where all kills alternate between ranged and melee units? What is that? Arketo S2 Texas Alter Skill 3 Showcase? Hello? My brain. The amount of, like, rotating that they're going to have to do between that's like, it's like, no, don't shoot that ranged unit. And the ranged unit goes, Boop, and they're like, ah, jeez. Well, they're that entire, you know, that stage just kind of goes. On the other hand, though, it's like, it's very, it's very doable. I guess, like, there's, you don't have to do it on a specific floor. You can kind of just, like, try to go for it along the entire route. Okay, no, see, here is my cheating little bird brain idea. It says all kills. It doesn't say that you have to win leakless. So clearly, the simplest solution is to get the Sarcas girl stage and then alternate killing the dogs and then you leak the trees. Screw that. <laughs> You are technically correct. The best kind of correct, in fact. <laughs> I know, right? But actually, have you run into the sarcasm girl yourself yet? Uh, so far, I've done I've done the the bravest thing. I've uh, gotten it, and I've bravely ran away. I haven't even seen her yet. Like she, uh, I you know I'm I'm right here. Like I could take you to dinner first. I I just haven't run into her. Like what gives? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I got there. I'm like. I've played enough of the previous IS ones. I know what goes on here. In enjoy your enjoy your cabin, uh, Sar Sar Sarkaz. Um, I'm I'm going the, the other direction now, and I just kind of but you know. She just wants to let you in out of the cold. That's what they all say. <laughs> I've read Hansel and Gretel. Okay, Wookie is wise to the Sarkaz's tricks and only goes for Dragon Tail. So I see. Would you expect anything else? Uh, can I interest you in, uh, Dragon Horns? That is an acceptable compromise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Alright, let's see. Uh, any other interesting tiles that we're looking at here? Uh, I'm seeing the Int All Your HP one. Lose oh, wait, where, all where, your, where, uh, where, uh, look, oh, column geez. 5 for uh, Int All Your HP except one inside an emergency stage, but you cannot do that on floor 1. Wow, I wonder why. Almost as if a uh, prisoner, like, what's it called? Prisoner's something? Dilemma. That one? Or prisoners... Yeah, prisoner's dilemma. Like, that would, no, just like, just leak everyone there. No, I'm kidding. But that, <laughs> that would be too easy. Uh, all all melee units must face towards a ranged tile. Yeah, that's a read alter stage of, or tile if I've ever seen one. Mm -hmm. Maybe a read alter S2, and depending on the stage. S2, <laughs> S2, you know, just just cook them. Just cook things. Yeah, who, do, who doesn't love a good set of, I mean, fireballs. Yeah, fireballs. Fire! Uh, let's see. see. What Kill else an are enemy from inside a Dominion tile? Well, technically, that's... Golden Glow could do that, but... That's true. That was gonna be interesting. Depends on, depends on like, where the Dominion tile is, right? Because if you don't have the, the Dominion debuff, like, and you happen to get the, uh, what's it, the Demon's Blade one, and you're just like, oh, well, this is gonna be awkward. The, the easiest and simplest answer clearly, is just to get the Dominion boss key. It's just that, that simple. That's true, but it looks like we're gonna go to some gameplay here now. We have uh, Q and Silver Gun in the top left, or I, as I'm probably gonna start referring to them now as Q Gun. Oh, what, do I have to make like an OTP name for Zafang and Undusk now? Well, yes. in, in the lower left corner, uh, weighing one Typhon and one Vendetta, we have Zafang and Undusk, also known as, I don't know what this ship is called, but it's definitely not Yaoi. <laughs> that's that's a little too long. That, that's, uh, that's quite, you, you writing a light novel with that name or? Um, well, hold on. What kind of plot would that be? That's a good question. Uh, Rob sounds like a Maybe it sounds like sounds like a line to you know a joke starting like you know a, sar a sarcasm at a vendetta walking to a bar. But then who's the bar? I'm sure, there's a bar in Sami, right? No, no, but like if they're walking into a bar, then like it's got to be an operator. Is it La Plume? Because <laughs> she's a bartender. Oh, okay. Ooh. This is getting a little. This is getting way too deep <laughs> for me. But it looks like they're about to get started here. As, let's see what they're, what they're okay, going Okay, it looks like we're squad. starting. Let's see, we have a guard squad starting. Interesting. Uh, okay. Yo, Wookie, are, can you still hear me? Yep, I can still hear you. Okay, now now I can't hear you. This is this is. That strange. is... That oh, is there awkward. you go. There we go. There we go. I, I may have sat on my controller. That would do something. <laughs> that would do that. Anyways, interesting start up... I see a sarcasm. 
Wait, but that's not Undusk. What's going on over there? Q, Q Gun is taking the is taking the Sarcas with I believe it's the I forget I'm blanking on the name of the squad, but it's one where you have that extra the extra yeah the extra five star recruits yeah. yeah that, wait, hold on a second. Silver Gun telling Q to pick five stars. What madness is this? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, and meanwhile, on Zafang and Undusk, we have Executor Altar? That's not a Sarcas, that's a Sancta. I mean, technically, if you're as lore, uh, like, deep into the Sarcas lore as Undusk, you could make an argument that that's a T-Cas, but I, did someone switch the niches on me and not tell me? They must have planned this. Or did they? April, <laughs> April Fool was yesterday! Bird, bird spotted, bird spotted. Tweet, 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 tweet! It's it's a battle of the Reaper Guards. It is the battle of the Reaper Guards. Exit they're clearly point... going for something. They are. I'm trying to look at the tiles, see which one they're trying to go for right now. Because well, pretty standard for oh? Q-Gun. Wait. Why is that tile blue? Hmm, that's highly sus. But anyway, as I was saying... They are both. They could both go for clear a stage where all operators take a hit at least once. It's clear that Undusk is going for clear a stage where all deployed operators have a blue box in range. Uh, but it looks like Q. I believe color wise, it looks like Q Gun has taken that first point. Well, how can they do that? They haven't even finished the stage. That's true, but it's looking oh, like they did just clear okay, it. Okay, well now they cleared it. Now they okay. Now they can have it. Oh yes. By the way, just for a little bit of clarity, um, between our navigators and our guides, uh, the guides cannot explicitly state uh, what condition is on the board. So, for example, um, if there was kill all collapsals. Okay, there you go. Yes, so the guides are not allowed to directly convey the specific information on the board, but they can hint very, very hard at what the specifics of those are. Mm -hmm. So it looks like oh it looks like looks like uh looks like your 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 OTP team is uh slightly ahead here now, Zai. Because they managed to get two and one. Mm, this is true. This is true. A little bit of an unfortunate pick on that Lapluma. I think that she could have actually done it facing the blue box, but you know what? Better to be safe than sorry. This is just three minutes into the run, and so you know what? We'll see how things shake up. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Well, it looks like Q-Gun on <laughs> In fact, on the stage that uh, Undusk and Zafeng just cleared, I'm trying to see if there's anything they could really go for here, but... but... Um... Have an operator die to an enemy from a collab event, if you could somehow get yourself killed by a sheep, I'd actually be impressed if you could manage that, but... Especially when you're running a Reaper Guard who, uh... You know, there's not really exactly a way to stop them from self-healing there. Um, clearly, you just need to sleep them. No, that, that's that's impossible. Um, yeah, no, I give up. <laughs> it's like, mm, it's a little bit, it's a little bit, huh. And I don't think any of the little sheepies are going to be able to, well, uh, speaking of passenger from earlier, to digress, uh, it looks like the, the passenger of the car has been picked up on the bottom oh? side of the screen here. I did see the animation for Look, Mr. Passenger. Look, man. All right. Yeah. So, Team Z Zafdusk Un Unfang? Unfang? <laughs> um, you're going to have to help me out here, Wookie. I don't name ships. Uh, last... yeah, Unfang does sound pretty funny here. We got last Q-Gun and I... Unfang here. Last time I named a ship, it literally just came out as Yuri, so like... Hmm. There, there you go. <laughs> All right, well, Team Unfang clearly setting up for a board sweep. It looks like they're getting ready to go for either something with race, um, defeating a Sarcast operator with a two, or Sarcast enemy with a two-star operator, uh, carrying Yato. And I think there's one more that they're going for um, that is clearly dodging my mind uh, at this moment. But uh, Team Unfang with a very solid setup. How are, how's your team looking, uh, Wookie? Oh, uh, looks like they're making some progress. Haven't really gotten a new point yet. Looks like they're picking a full dart tool right now. They're trying to see which ones they have. But, again, as they can't, com as only, again, only the navigator can speak to the, uh, the explorer right now. So, Q has no idea exactly what he's looking for here outside of just Silver Gun hinting at, like, alright, take this one or take that one. Well, they did grab, well, team, what, what's your team called again? Q-Gun? Q-Gun. Q -Gun. Q -Gun? Uh, 
All right. Well, Team Q Guns got Myrtle, so clearly they're setting up for a floor three boss kill. Um, I'm actually thinking that this is going to be highly dependent on what that boss is, because if you try and kill the Emperor's Blade with Myrtle, I think it's going to end badly, and not for the Emperor's Blade. It's a, it's a very, very, very bold move if that's what they're trying to go for here, because he is ve the, the, the Demon Blade is very angry. They, they, they would not take well to getting slapped with the tablecloth. I mean, I don't, I don't even know if he's angry. It looks like the poor man's constipated. Like, look at all that pollen that keeps following him around. It's allergy season, and I mean, if I was him, I'd be utterly miserable. Yeah, he's probably miserable and angry at that fact. Well, I guess that's why he's called the Demon Blade. All right, mm. Team Q Gun is clearly unwell. Meanwhile, Team Unfang, I, I'm never going to get used to this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll go with it as we go. But it looks like, ooh, it looks like Team Unfang or is a Fang and Undusk. They've managed to fill all the ploy but all in two calls of a stage with allied units. Looks like, yeah, with that one that they've just picked, there's not a whole lot of deployable spaces on that one if I remember right. Only, you know, two or three. Um, deployable ground tiles, if I remember that one. Not too many tiles, just in general on that one, so... Being able to get that one, looks like Q-Gun is taking the 8 billion civilian strategy. Hey, hold on a second. Is that emergency? Does- I don't think that... That, um, you know, the guy with the flag spawns normally. That might be an emergency. I'm gonna be honest, I was looking at the bottom side of the bingo map when they picked the stage, so I'm here just like, ah. More importantly, why is there a Sora there? That I don't think I've seen anyone pick Sora in a long time, so clearly some higher Giga Brain strategies going on in the Q-Gun world that I, a mere mortal, am totally unaware of. The fuck? Just realize it is all five stars so far, but not not surprising given <laughs> given Silvergun's reputation for uh, not using six stars. Hmm. Yeah. I okay. Well, here's here's the question: If they get a six star as a temporary operator, do you think they're gonna bite? Ooh, that depends. That depends on, I cause, cause right now Silver Kick is seized. Oh, so oh hold on, the leaking, oh. we're going down to one HP on an emergency. Team Q-Gun, oh, 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 and the bonus guest. Team Q-Gun going for that tile. Ooh, going for that tile, letting them all, letting four of them go. So just clearing just enough, which means Oh, and they're also going for the, uh, I think they're going for the facing the range tile one. All the ground ops are facing the range tile. Oh, this is true. All so right, very interesting. Here. Yes, and then so... there's a bear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to be here for a while. Bear, uh, Mr. Mr. Kopnik making his way down. Myrtle's about to get fl Oh, nope. <laughs> He's like, nope. It's like, nope, nope, so, nope. <laughs> so basically what you're saying is that we need to bear with the weight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can fire me now. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you can fire me. Please, please let me out of the basement. <laughs> All right. Well, they've got the kill on the bear, and now they're going to get those two tiles if they remember to claim them. And it looks like... Are they going to claim that other one? I think the plan is just to let La Pluma die to the bear here. Unfortunately, Wait. I don't think any- actually, I think they had a chance to try to get the Operator to die in one hit for max HP if you just- Oh, they just straight up killed Kopnik. That works too, I suppose. Um, okay. Oh, but it looks like- it looks like Unfang actually official. managed to snag that one first. You official? You official? Hey, hey yo. Who are, who are we pandering to here? Zalak players. I think. Hmm. Hmm. By the way, huh. have you have you played that April Fool's Day event yet? I have played the April Fool's event. It was rather long. Just to clear it all. But still an interesting way to go about it. April Fools are always like the you know the fun little the fun little ones. Oh yes, I personal why did they come for the streamers' lives like this? But hey, you know what? It's always funny to see a Liberi with their tail on fire, so I'll go with that. <laughs> that's true, that's true. You gotta try to catch the one with the um you know with the with the bird. What is it? Very represent. Anyway, priest. I'm not biased. What are you saying? Yeah, we're okay, we're on floor three. Let's take a look at that boss. Oh, lucky break for Team Q Gun. Getting Nature's Wrath. Ooh. Meanwhile. Meanwhile, Team Zafdusk? Unfang? <laughs> Zaf. Uh, oy vey. 
Uh, team not Yaoi, uh, going for what- There's a lot of Sarkaz enemies on the stage. Do you think they're going to go for the Sarkaz kill with a Yato? Or- They could, because hey. it looks- Because they are- Does do damage? I believe you official is a bard. I believe what she does is a stun, not damage here. Yeah, that's what I thought. So they do have to go with Yato. Also, I think... Hold on, I might... I'm, again, checking my memory here for a second, but I'm fairly oh, certain they're that going you with it. Oh, they are going, going for the for heal. The... Yes, they're going for the Yato versus Sarkaz Blade Weaver. But Who Yato is, is blocked too and getting utterly decked. Hibby, Hibby definitely trying to get. Ooh, that did not, Ooh. that did not go the way that, uh, that, that team, uh, Z Z Z Zaf Zafdusk un Unfang wanted we're, to go we're, for there. We're, we're not, we're not going to. We're th figuring it out. This is just gonna happen throughout the rest of the matches, isn't it? We're gonna figure it out eventually at some point. Well, Yato's back, thankfully, thanks to her uh, quick redeploy time. Can we go for a round two grudge match? Well, there are quite a few sarcasms running around that they do have the chance for. Exactly. I don't, because at least for oh. Team Q, then they will not Hold be able up. to book that one. Oh. Hold up. Look at this. Look at this. We might get a clever split box here, putting the Yato so that the sarcasm. Oh, unfortunate. I think what they were trying to coordinate was so that the collapse would go in Executor's range and Yato would push the Blade Weaver into the Altar's range for extra damage, but unfortunately, it just didn't work. More importantly, I really want to know how Zafang is communicating this to Undust given Undust's love for sarcasm. <laughs> hey! Yeah, can you just like whack one to death with that other one who's probably just who's also a TCAS? Can we get some TCAS on TCAS violence in the chat? And that's probably internally going, why? I think here. someone, I think whoever made this board has it out for Undusk. Perhaps, maybe just, just, a, just, a, just a little bit. Just a tiny little bit. bit. Little tiny bit. Infinitesimally so. But it looks like Team Zafang and Undusk will not be, or maybe just the red team at this point, because I believe yeah, they're the red, red team. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah. Red team probably works better here. Red team and blue team here. Uh -huh. We tried to make it work, and it had a fail on his face there. But um, yeah, it doesn't roll yeah. off the tongue, unfortunately. Yeah, it doesn't quite roll off, the, roll off the tongue there. But let's see. We're gonna do a quick score count right now, and it appears that the red team is ahead five to two right now. Uh, no one anywhere close to a bingo at the moment. But I believe that everyone is trying. I think everyone is trying to go for the three collapse paradigm. That's why you see like an occasional leak here and there, because taking health damage does increase your collapse value. This is true, but they are going to have to be careful about what those collapse or what those paradigms that they pick up are, because I don't know. Getting something like DP down might be very bad if you don't have a DP generating Vanguard. Although I think that's more of a problem for Team Red than Team Blue at this point. But yeah, you want to know something that I'm actually very interested in, Wookie? Oh? So, I actually learned from some members of the Arknights Twitch community that there are some very, very, very rare uh, collapsible paradigms that you can encounter in this game mode. Apparently, the rate is something like 0.31%. One of them makes it so that you can't see the enemy's HP at all, and then the other makes it so that all your operators turn into pitch black silhouettes. So Ooh. I'm wondering if we might beat the odds and actually have one of those rare paradigms make an appearance on the like bingo tournament. I would actually love to see that. They are trying to go for. I remember that some that uh some there was a different member who posted it. They thought it was a glitch at first because like all their operators were like you know kind of that like black raid out. So it's just like wait a minute, what happened to them? <laughs> but yeah, it yeah, like... I, oh, I wait, saw them trying to go for the kill. Oh, but that boss is going to stun after three hits. So this is going to be very very dicey for the red for the blue team. See, it's too, well, ooh, the Myrtle is ooh. stunned now. That's a little awkward. Ooh, uh, do they have the HP to leak? I don't I think they don't do. I think so. this is a fail. Oh, we're getting our first reset of the match. They're having the first reset, but they are able to just reset it again and try to, you know, try again to a different, um, and try with a different set because there's not too many, at least looking at this bingo board here, that are saying, like, you have to go all the way to the end. It's looking more like, you know, just some things, that, just general things that you could do in the stage versus like, 
you know, having four operators that insane enemy, you know, you can just line four up before Scott and Nick and just have, you know, one, two, three, four of them. So. Exactly. However, there are going to be some tiles for which uh, the red team is now at an advantage, but conversely, that the blue team could pivot to take the advantage of as well. Uh, the red team has just spelled a four-letter word using operators adjacent. P O R E four. I suppose that works. I suppose that works. I guess the reserve operator does count. Well, you know what? A word's a word. The word's a word. They, I, think, I think they reduced it to four letters after the uh, IS3 one where no one got away with spelling five, but... <laughs> I'll say, you need, feel like you might need to... It's like the toothpick problem, right? Where it's like, how many squares do you make of a toothpick by just moving it a couple times? That's what it oh, feels geez. like. How, I haven't thought about got, that one in years. Yeah, because like, you, you gotta set up the operator to be able to say it, to like be able to make, be able to make the word, but it's like the least amount of movements is possible. <laughs> right? Because you don't want to like just un just you know undeploy everyone here. Just watch me. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Under so it looks like the red team is in a great position to have all classes deployed on the same stage at once. And possibly to what is the other one that I was looking at? Uh, yes, have four operators die to the same enemy just because of enemy bulk and number of viable operators in the squad. But on the other hand, the blue team might be able to clear a stage using only ranged tiles on floor one, as well as defeat the first enemy of a stage with a one-star operator on floor one, again, given the enemy bulk. Mm-hmm. It means they're probably going to have to retrieve, like... I'm trying to think about one-stars. You got, you got Castle 3, you got uh, the Cat Tower, Terran Research Commission. I don't think there's anybody else that you can do with that one. Thermal EX! <laughs> don't sleep on my boy! He'll, he'll take them out and take himself out with it. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, so... Nice debuff. Looks like Team Red has heard us talking. They're bringing Castle 3 in, trying to get a kill with that. But it's Shady Frozen Sea. I don't see this working out very well, in my opinion. The first enemy, I'm trying to think, what is the first? It's not the boat, because the boat would be it's easy. The, oh. It's the, oh, it's the, oh, and it's emergency, Shady Frozen Sea. Oh, close your <clears> eyes. <throat> Avert your eyes. It's about to get ugly. You got this, Castle 3, or oh, you, you do not got this, my that, bad. <laughs> is, I think they have the HP reduction on entry collapsible paradigm. Oh, this could get ugly. On the other hand, I think they're at the point where it's like, if they're just able to... Actually, I think what they could try, at, at least on uh, the red team here, is just having four people get smacked by the dock worker, assuming he doesn't stun them. Well, there's only one, two... Well, there are there are four ground units, but then you don't have any blocks, so it would be very dicey. Meanwhile, uh, while we were discussing the economics of using Castle 3 as an offensive operator, the red team, or sorry, the blue team, has cleared a stage using only ranged tiles with no leaks. And so it looks like they're going to be going for some of those easier tiles while the red team is uh, coping, so to say. Yeah, I mean, at this point, you may as well go for it. Like, you have a new chance. Uh, may as well go for it. Uh, that is a Mizuki, I see. That is, in fact, a six star. I want to say that's the first six star being brought. And then, as we as we mentioned earlier, they're leaking like one HP to try to build up that collapse value. So maybe they could stack up three different collapse paradigms instead of just having, you know, the one that gets like turbo buffed. I think they're kind of hoping for that one right now. Oh. That makes that makes a lot of sense. And uh, hold on a second, I'm I'm getting something from the uh, from the arena. It looks like Q was a former member of the PVP team IRS, also known as the Iberian Revenue Service. So by technicality, that Mizuki is entirely legal. Uh, please continue. <laughs> Understandable, but it looks like that was a calf guy. I just saw the blue team take there. I'm thinking they're trying to go for the sleep stun and bind in the same stage. Because you got you got sleep with Kafka. Um, I want to try to remember if Mizuki does bind or not. I believe Mizuki does have a bind. I know I know Ethan does. I, I know Ethan has a bind. I know Mizuki does damage. Like, like I'm having a stroke right now. I remember it's like does Mizuki do bind again. But it definitely looks like they're trying to go for the sleep stun and bind because otherwise, you know, you don't you don't really see Kafka get brought a lot. In hey. Hi hey. I'm I'll sorry. have you know, I'll have you know that I found a use for Kafka skill 2 not even two days ago, sir. A you? Uh, Bird Knight's skill 2 on the vent 
so that you can kill Cliff, because if the vent's not on, Fartooth shoots the vent, and it's really embarrassing for everyone involved. Ah. I'm not coping, you're coping! <laughs> I mean, look, if you play a niche, I feel like it's just cope. We're just all in different stages of cope. This is true. All right, some something's going on up there with the red team. What are they doing? It's like they made it to... Oh, Cruz with the... Cruz with the stun, oh. the Mizuki with the bind, and Kafka with the sleeve. Mm-hmm. It's roll happening. For... It's coming together. She's kind of got to roll for that Cruz RNG and hope that she does the stun. Because the bind, I believe... Yeah, the bind off Mizuki's S2 is a guarantee. I think the better question is that can they get all three without killing the unfortunate guy? Yeah. <laughs> well, it is a sleep stun and bind enemies. It doesn't say they have to do... I don't believe they need to do it all three. They need to hit them on the same. Okay, three. no, that is true. You don't have to do it all on the same guy. Can you imagine if just... you had to, though? That poor enemies would have the worst day of their life. At that point, you might as well just start playing Specialist Knights. Unrelated, <laughs> looks like the red team is facing off against the Demon Blade, the poor guy with the seasonal allergies. Well, looks like that sleep just went through, and I want to say that there was a stun in there at some point between... Yep, there it is. I mean, I statistically like, speaking, there has yeah, to have been one. I was like, between Gummy and Cruz, you're probably getting one. You know, off exactly. of Cruz's, you're getting one in there somewhere. And for a quick score for a quick score update, we now have Team Red with a one point lead at six points and Team Blue following closely behind at five. It's still anyone's game. Yeah, still plenty of time left in the tournament right now, about I believe around we're well, not tournament, but left in the match right now, about twenty or so minutes. That's that's quite a bit of time in IS, you know, in IS. Yeah, that's enough time for me to uh, go through one Bosky passage, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one whole Bosky. Yeah, but what if you get the shop one, Bosky? Or just like two shops back to back, and it's like, oh, okay. Wookie, have you have you not seen me when I'm shopping? I am indecisive as heck. Oh, the shopping I, I spent three days on vacation looking for a cup to buy once. Oh. What? Did, what? did you at least buy the one that you wanted? Um, I actually kind of had a moment of regret where I didn't get one from a location that I had previously visited, but I compromised. Listen, if you're writing a dissertation, you gotta have a good teacup. Anyways, I digress. Emperor's Blade, or Demon Blade is moving in. It's time for the Demon Blade Grudge Match versus Passenger. Place your bets now. Also, the question, uh, let's see. Is there one, I, I believe there was, yeah, they have to kill an enemy from inside of Minion Tower. Well, there's coincidentally... Uh, about to be a bunch of Dominion tiles, so if they want to try to get that one, this is, you know, if you okay. kill the Demon Blade, you're probably in the tile at this point. Well, hold on a second. Now I want a legality. Oh, hold up. It looks like we had an operator die from one hit. That was what the pausing was on about. Uh, that was, I believe that was Castle, Castle 3. 3 getting one shot by the Emperor's or by the Demon Blade. Yeah. All right. One more point for the red team. Okay, hold on. Legality. Leg legality check. Mm -hmm. do, do we? Does the person casting have to be inside the Dominion tiles? So doesn't that mean Passenger can just send his storm out from Brazil and like get someone? Uh, it does say kill an enemy from inside of the Dominion tiles. So I guess it depends on what the TOs will decide on that one. Yeah, I to don't know what's going on. There. Oh, it looks like the Myrtle set up, and they're putting oh. Myrtle in the Dominion. Oh man! Oh, I, what's going on here? I feel like he has a little more HP than people. I think he does, because yeah, like they're trying to yeah. figure out the exact, like, can, he, can Myrtle kill him with like two bonks, because she's probably going to die on like the first hit. In my professional opinion, that is at least one pixel of HP. <laughs> <laughs> at least one? At it, what if there's two? Oh, they're just saying they're, they're not even going to bother with the Dominion tile, they're just like, nah, oh, we're just going to... Oh, gonna... oh, hold up, well, no, now he's... Oh, 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 oh the oh, Myrtle hit, but I don't think is... she was in Dominion. She doesn't have to, but she still got the last hit, so she, they do get yeah, that Yeah, that does count, that does count. All right. Hey, look, they've almost got a straight line. Unfortunately, straight lines don't count uh, in this format, but you know what? It's the thought that matters. Well, straight lines actually do, I believe. They give you some bonus points if you are able to collect a full line. So oh, is that a thing now? Yes, that is, I believe, a thing. Unless I am horribly mistaken, but last Well, one of us is clearly... Uh... <laughs> One of us may have woken up in the wrong dimension. Did you- wait a second, did you come through a collapsal portal? I... No. So that's where you went on vacation! No! 
<laughs> All right. Well, okay, we're we're getting uh some word from points. tournament organizers. Bingo does count for an extra three points. All right. Collapsal land is collapse land was right. I mean, uh, Seattle was right. Well, I, oh, come on a second. That means. Well, okay. other, other... Bear, so... bear with me here. Mm -hmm. here. Are you ready for some IS4 lore? Okay. okay. If you read the descriptions of the collapsal drones, it says that the collapsal took over a regular drone and fulfilled its dream which is becoming a bird. So technically speaking, if birds are collapsals, I'm the collapsal. But how did I come out of the portal? I mean, I didn't come out of the portal. Um, start running. <laughs> uh oh <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let's check in with our teams. How are we looking in terms of tiles that have yet to be taken? Um, let's see. I don't see any two stars, at least not right now. Otherwise, or I'm horrifically blind, but I don't see any two stars on the team, on the blue team here. So it doesn't look like they can quite get that Sarkaz one. Um, but it doesn't Meanwhile, look like they have the a red one team either. still has their Yato and their cat. Wait, Castle's a one star. Well, yeah, yeah they still have their star. Yato, so you know that grudge match might come back sometime soon. Well, just gotta hope that you fight like just the normal Sarkaz. It's like a. One of the sarcast small fries they can fight. But it looks like they are trying to burn the three pair. Well, I would say one of the easier ones. It's, it's more just if you're able to get it. But if you're able to use the three pairs of full darkness on the same floor. So it looks like that's what they're committing it looks like, now. Yep. They're committing go. Grand Theft Full Dartle. Grand Theft Full Dartle. <laughs> and it looks like they're about to get that third one right here. So that is another point to the red team. Uh, my, my pick of the blue team of, uh, of Team uh, Q-Gun here is uh, not, not looking too good here now, is it? It looks like it looks like you should have just invested harder in Yaoi. Clearly. It's yeah, a fan right. gaming. Um, meanwhile, here's a very interesting thing that I was thinking of while you were mentioning the full dartles. The use three full dartles on the same floor, uh, the Concords, is completely antithetical to having three collapsal paradigms. So it really does. Oh, and speaking of which, it looks like the blue team might be trying to declare for that. I guess, hold on. I saw, I saw, was that three? I, I glanced up and I saw two stacks of one and then another one, unless I'm blind in this one. Also a no, you are here. you are correct. So I don't know what the ruling on that is. Like if it, if it's three stacks or if it's three unique ones. But given that they're not being given the tile, it might be three unique. That was my that was my assumption reading on it because if you have the ten percent, like what is it, the one where um like the enemy is extra buff, it's like what like a five percent chance and it buffs up to ten percent. So technically, it's still the same debuff. It's just not. Oh. Oh, looks like uh, blue team's actually going for the two-star kill. They have Narcorn oh, doing his oh, best. Is, is that a is that a star? That is, is a that sarcas. That is oh. a sarcas, and they got a oh. slip box, oh. and that is the kill right there. No one else is in range. That is definitely a kill there. So I believe they should get the point here shortly. I, believe I can't Arteos believe they. Verified. I can't believe they took the sarcas hate crime away from Undusk. <laughs> this is mine now. You can't have it, Undusk. Undusk. You may be winning the race right now, but I think you've lost the war. I would say Blue Team does also have a chance to be able to get that, uh, to be able to catch up with the line here. They are trying to set up for one. There's a rather easy one of turning a combat node into a shot node. You know, that was just like, you run a gun as soon as you can do it. And yes. the harder one's going to be the alternate kills one, though. Yes, I agree. I think that might actually be a trap tile, where if you try and go for that, you're going to get utterly whammied. And it looks like the red team declared defeat the first enemy. Yeah, defeat the first enemy of a stage with a one-star operator. Castle 3 did his job! Excuse you! Excuse you! Look at that redeploy timer! Do you see the DP cost on Castle 3 going up? No? That's my boy Thermiax! Oh, never mind my mistake. Thermax doing his job. I'm a little blind. Thermax is the strongest slacker in IT unit. Let's go! Anyways, my my in immense amounts of copium aside, I do agree. The blue team could, if they get solid RNG, turn a combat node into a shop. They're also in very prime position to have three collapse the paradigms. But the Dominion stuff, I don't know if neither of them have Dominion as a debuff yet. So it's gonna be really stage or collapse paradigm dependent. Yeah, it just really depends, because, I mean, the best shot they had so far, I believe, was Red Team in fighting the Demon Blade. 
But... Hold on a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What are what is the red team missing? A supporter. Looks like the red team's only missing a supporter to have all classes deployed on the same stage as one to, as well. Yeah, it looks like they're just waiting for uh looks like they just have to, you know, just wait for RNG to grant them that supporter recruitment ticket right now. I you know, IS being fickle as it is. Okay, mark my words. I sense it in my jimmies. Undusk is going for Valark then. Yeah, that would track. That would track. I, actually, well, hold on. Zafang is steering. So what supporter would Zafang go for? Not Ling. Not Ling! <laughs> Definitely not okay, Ling. Wait, wait, wait. What if, what if they had zero hope and Ling was free? <laughs> the fake's gonna be, he's gonna be like cries, like, take the Ling. <laughs> <laughs> I or would I would pay actual money to hear the audio if that happened. Or he just goes, take Orchid out. <laughs> or something. Wait, don't they already have Orchid in the uh, setup, or was that Team Blue from before? I think, I want to say that was Team Blue and not Team Red, because I feel like, you know, if you're Team Red, you would have gone for that at this point, wouldn't you? I don't know, but like, maybe, maybe someone forgot, like, you know. Oh, that's true, so maybe. Like, it is a known fact that Zafang spends at least 30% of his brain power thinking about Mr. Nothing at any given time. So, like, who knows? Maybe uh, he was thinking about Mr. Nothing. Oh, is that a, is that a look into the mind of Zafang? <laughs> it is a Mr. known Nothing. fact that many Niche Knights players have terminal Mr. Nothing brain rot. Okay! And the red team getting four operators killed to the same enemy. Oh, punchy pinch-out robots never change. No one like those robots. Well, I mean, I mean someone, someone has to. Like, I don't know, what if someone really likes Gundam? Uh, true, I suppose. True, true. They might, might go for one. All right, and it looks like the blue blue team is rapidly approaching the floor three boss, and they trigger that is a third. another collapsal. That, All I right. believe, should give them the three collapsal paradigms. But holy crap, that is a bad setup. Is that minus 40% DP generation that I saw there? Oop. I, which kind of makes us want to get rid of the jam. <laughs> They're like, let's not take the uh, the DP sink into into 40 percent DP. DP they look gen like they want to fight this out though. So, guess we'll see. Okay, what? Let's take a look at the remaining tiles we have left because I feel like we're starting to get to that dangerous territory of you have to commit, like. You just have to focus down that tile, so. We've got clear a stage where you deploy each operator on a Dominion tile at least once, and kill an enemy from inside a Dominion tile, neither of which are practically achievable by either team at this point. I we have- Oh, wait a second! We might have an operator die to an enemy from a collab event right here. Yeah, it just depends on the enemy. Well, not with these ones right now, unless they're really willing to let Inez die to- you know, one of the little doggos. I don't know. Oh, no. I think I think they're gonna go for that flame, that little lizard on the bottom. That guy is malicious. Let me tell you. Did you know that he's immune to stun when he's carrying a shield? The rock is extra powerful. What can I say? I didn't know that. Neither did Zafang. Like we got bamboozled. On the other hand, the lizard does not hit high ground units, and he just kind of walks around the top side, so you can't yeah, really but... block him. Well, all they, no, there's a, t there's a tile there. There's a tile there. All they have to oh, do sure, is there is a tile. Yeah, oh, yeah. So sure. that, I think the red team's definitely going for that. The whoever has the most three stars is probably why these teams are hanging on to these runs, no matter how scuffed they are, because we are starting to run low on time. Turn a combat node into a shop is just you get it, you fire it. So whoever runs yeah, into that first. No have, reason to hold on to it. Have all classes looks very. Oh, oh, they're letting it go. I feel like they just let free points just leave. Oh, never mind. They already got it. Oh, they already got it. Okay. Oh, oh man. All right. Okay. So there looks like red team is still waiting on that supporter. Not sure about how blue team status is regarding that. And then I think that if anyone goes for that uh, clear stage where all kills alternate between melee and ranged units, I think that's just going to be a loss because you'll be too hyper focused on that. And how would you even communicate that as a guide? It's like, okay, make sure make sure this one dies to, to this character. Make sure this, this one dies to that character. The driver's like, the, the explorer's gonna be like, what? <laughs> like, In the three like a yards, deploy, Texas, alter, recalculating. <laughs> recalculating. <laughs> All right. 
So now they're canonically GPSs. Understood. Hmm. Guide providing strategy. Checks out. <laughs> I will say the red team looks like they are ahead by quite a bit right now with the amount of points that just racked up at the uh that little bit there. But by my count, I believe that's 12 points of the red team. And it looks like we just passed the 10 minutes, uh, 10 minutes remaining in the match timer. Uh, I'm hearing from the tournament organizers that we're going to be playing the match until the timer ends, regardless of how many tiles get picked. Uh, so it will be interesting to see how, if the blue team can pull it back somehow. Whoever gets the one where they, the kills all three between range and melee, they win in my heart. Okay, hold on a second. Here's how the blue team can still win. All right, hear, hear me out. First, mm -hmm. they get a free ling and make Zafang take psychic damage so he's incapable of steering Undusk. Then they announce a new Sarkaz operator that Undusk really wants and leak the information in the Lungman Dragon's um, VC during the competition so that Undusk gets distracted. While the two of them are reeling from the damage, they steal all the tiles and run. <laughs> what, they grab, like, the, what, like the raccoon like stealing the cat food, just like both hands just does like a little scuttle off. What are they doing with Kafka? Oh my god, that poor bird. Poor bird is being forced to fight against uh, the little door, what are the door, door ones? Door what? I think that's what they're called. I, don't remember, I just remember them as pointy objects. Uh, uh, they're rather pointy. Mean, they're my paper plates looking, they're paper plates. Ah, that, that could work too, that could work too. What, have you not thought of them as paper planes until this moment in time? No, I thought of them as angry triangles. <laughs> if not their normal I, name. I, I think we need to have a talk. It's not quite a triangle, I know. It's like a triangle with a circle at, at the end of it. <laughs> it's clearly a... Well, he did you not fold paper planes when you were in, in elementary school. Not really, I think I was, didn't really do much of that in... Uh... You're killing me. You're killing me. Look. <laughs> Look, it's oh, fine. Okay. Okay. Well, speaking of Dominion Tiles, though, there are Dominion Tiles that they did just yes, get a are kill. Dominion tiles. I believe that was a kill for an enemy yes. inside the Dominion Tile there. I believe Inez just killed a... Not exactly is this sure, a, a doggo. Is this a Dominion boss key? It does look like and possibly. It, it does look like it, because I it's ten tiles, which is definitely more than four and also more than eight. Unreli- Well, they, I think- they, I think the red dog. team, the red team was going for the have all classes deployed, but got D O Mega Lol G'd. The dog just kind of scuttled by. It looks like a bit of hesitation on the part of Undust there. It'll just kind of let the dog go run free. Yeah, hey Undust, the fang. You guys do know that pause redeploy got re-added back into Arknight's global like a few months ago, right? By the way, thanks to Yostar for that. Woo, pause deploy. I have never used it since. <laughs> I don't think I'd use it to either. I'm, I'm so used to not having it this one. It's like, here, have this tool. I'm like, what tool do? You know what? Someday in some ungodly, asinine max risk that only Global can do because they have a weird potential, mark my words, we'll use it. One day we'll use it. One day. I mean, we'll, I'm, sure, yeah, I'm, sure, I'm sure we'll probably hit it one point or another, but until then... It's, it's kind of like the monkeys on typewriters corollary, except with oh. Arknights. If you have infinite Arknights players on infinite niche clears, at some point someone will use pause deploy. I think someone's already used that at this point. We just haven't <laughs> like necessarily seen or heard about it. Uh, but I'm fairly certain about it at this point. Like, surely it hasn't gone this long. I, see, the unfortunate thing is that all the records I know that were invalidated because we did not have pause deploy are on events that don't rerun like Vigilo, so. Aww. Alas! But you know what? Someday in the future, someone's gonna make use of it. One day. One, One day, day in the future. But let's see what else did they have. Um, I mean, right now, you got the... We still have alternating kills. Still have to I'm surprised they haven't gotten the combat mode. Okay, okay there, right, blue there. team finally declared for that. I was waiting to see if they would do that. There we go. You know what? I think we may or may not just have a mental block on... Uh, using full articles together that do not form Concord. Is that just me? <laughs> Maybe. I like me my color matching tiles too much. Same here. It's like, just, just, it's like I want the, you always want to go for the extra value ones. I'm like, look, it's, it's a good deal to get the extra little bonus. I'm, I'm not going to say no to a bonus. 
Oh, see, yeah. for me on Bird Nights, I have to leak so much on floors one and two because of my limited roster that, like, I can't not Concord. I am <laughs> bleeding, my man. Must Concord. Must, Must match blue, blue yeah. woman. <laughs> <laughs> And you're, you're like bleed, you're like, there's like 15 plus on you're like, oh, come on, can do this. <laughs> oh, okay, but I'm gonna be honest. Okay, you you want to know what would be like the best worst thing that could happen in the tournament this weekend? Oh. Someone has to cleanse themselves of a collapsible paradigm, but they get the rare one. <laughs> it's like, but, but, but it's the cool one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know. I feel like if someone gets a rare collapsible paradigm, they should just like automatically win their match. It's just like, I got it, I got it. I, I won yeah. the winning a lottery. Like, <laughs> lottery you, you just win life odd. for for the next 30 minutes, you just win life. <laughs> I got the super rare one. Is that a lava purgatory? This, this is, this is Undust's account. This is Undust's account. Like, that's true, why am I, that's true. Why am I surprised at this point? Is this skill what? Oh my I god! Believe... So. I, I, I. Hey, as long as it works. <laughs> I feel slightly mortified. Uh, hey, meanwhile, hey. Team Q Gun activating the Void and Scar. They're going for ending two. I think or... they might just be using it to bail out on something. Or oh, that's true. They probably did bail. They're they are approaching a... the boss. They are actually, in fact, are they going to try and fight the boss? That's what I'm very curious to see. I'm just trying to think about what they're trying to go for at this point. Do they have all the classes, I guess? That could be something they could try to go for here. I mean, that or they're just flexing. That's also, also a possibility. Also a possibility. Because I think at this point, like, trying to deploy on the Dominion tiles and trying to complete that bingo board. While I don't even think they have Dominion. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, and also at this late of a stage, again, remember, this is on D4, so it's like, it's not the highest, it's, you know, it's not a particularly high difficulty. But it's still enough where you kind of need to respect the floor fives a little. Like you still kind of need to respect the floor fives. Okay, hold on. Someone in the chat has actually just pointed out something very interesting. It is possible that blue team could pull it back here if they manage to get the alternating kills and get a straight line. They can, but they can. that one I do believe is probably the hardest one to hit, though. I agree. Uh, and again, how would you even communicate this? Like, aside from saying it outright, which I don't think we're allowed to do, even for something as specific as this. Yeah, I imagine it'd be, like, it had to be something like, okay, let this operator get this kill, okay, retreat them now, put down this operator, this operator get the next kill. But at the same time, it's like, the delay in communication, like, are you able to get that set up in time? Like, I, it, that, that one to me just seems like that's by far going to be the hardest one to get. So it's like, it's a it's pretty tall task for blue team. Not to mention, I believe the timer is counting down now. Yes. To about a couple minutes left, so they are desperately trying to get that one. If they want to try to get the win here, but ooh. See, I I'm telling you, the smart thing for this tile would have been to just get a crap ton of HP and then kill two things and leak the rest. <laughs> That's true. It didn't say anything. It didn't. It doesn't say anything about yeah, having the. You just have to clear it. You don't have to like do it leakless. So. Yeah. So you can just okay. you know just. If you have the HP, yeah, just like high high HP and then probably like or just a low, low number of enemy map, you know, kill a few. Just kill the first two and then just Yeah. Pray. <laughs> then again, getting HP is it's not as hard as it was in IS3, I feel, but at the same time, if you don't get the ball rolling with getting to 10 HP early and hitting perfect so you start naturally generating shield HP with the meta progression perk, I feel like you're just going to get punished very hard. I felt that myself uh, during Braving Nature runs where I just couldn't get above 7 life points, and mm -hmm. like, it does snowball, so... Mm -hmm. uh, snowball, get it, because we're in Sami? <laughs> <laughs> All right, please, please fire me. <laughs> <laughs> two out of two so far, but it looks like we're coming down to, I believe, our last like 30 seconds here. Oh, uh, why can't they do it? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say probably not. Well, they are... on, one, on one hand, I feel like they are going to survive this, but on the other hand, I don't think they alternated it properly. I, I don't think so either. I wasn't watching, but it didn't look very alternated to me. It did not, because Mizuki is, uh, looks like they're... What are they trying to do here? 
like, um, slowing them down. Are they trying to stall them long enough to be able to get down a raid? Like, are they actually able to get... No? Oh, look, wait, they're doing the Dominion deploy thingy. Oh, they're cycling through all of them to Dominion. Oh, I just thought... Hey, the, this is the weirdest 1P relay clear I've ever seen. This is an odd look. At, it's, it's not even 1P relay. It's, like, it's 1P relay, but they have to just stand on the minion and then just keep, like, scooting out of it. 1P relay and friends. And friends. Does look like I think they're probably just letting these final maps play out for the last bits of points, but I believe time has expired here now, unless I'm mistaken. I believe it has expired too, but you know what? I'm just watching Golden Glow go to work. It's it's funny. All right, hey Team there Blue, claiming the claiming the Dominion tile at the buzzer. If it works, it works. I think they were trying to go for the alternated kills, but I, I think it got jumbled up at some point. Midway, because I think Mizuki killed like two in a row or something. Yeah, like, uh, that is just such a tall order, even on the best of days, with you knowing exactly what you need to do. Yeah, it's like, that one I feel like would be a hard, that one's just probably the hardest one. But I believe now that that's the end of the timer, we're going to see who has the most uh, three stars here, I believe, if they want to do some final point tallies, if it, we're going to do that. I think, I would be surprised if it's not the first, if it's not, if it's not blue team, because like, there's a lot of operators in there. I see 15 by my count, so do they have more than four three stars? But I believe because they didn't get that bingo, I don't think they have a chance to get it. Let me do a quick count here, though. True, uh, but they can stop a uh, team Unfang from getting the straight line and running away with it, so. That is true. It is a, is it, a it might be a denial there. We'll have to find out. But yeah, this is kind of what the bingo is going to look like for y'all, I believe, on Saturday, Friday, Saturday, if we're talking Depending on your North time American zone. Time. Yeah, time zone dependent on. But it'll be something similar to this, where, you know, everyone's fighting over the one bingo board, but, you know, a good number more contestants. Oh, hold on a second. It looks like they're counting up the three stars, and it looks like Red Team might actually be... T it, yes, Red Team does get the end of timer, whoever has the most three stars, and does take that straight line, as well as the additional three points. So, a very rousing and decisive victory for Team... Um, hold on, wait. You got this? Unduskin Fortin. Unduskin What? <laughs> uh, the added name more syllables. Z Zapoopin Fortin. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it to him. The boy's a fake just catching a stray here. Listen, it's not my fault his his name is so memeable. Understandable. Like there's the fuzzy, the furry, the fluffy, the fart. The world. I mean, what? <laughs> uh well, congratulations to Undusk and Zafang. Undusk can finally get some rest from having to, like, monk a steer through all this tournament organizing as well as the show map. But more importantly, uh, Undusk... Wait. More importantly, we can say congrats, LD no, Undusk! Yeah. yeah, let's go! Hold on. All right, Thank everyone in chat, us. say it with us. Congrats, right, LD Undusk. I don't know, but say it with us, chat. Congrats, anyway. LD Undusk. Yeah, let's go. Congrats, LD Undusk. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. I like that just the flood of congrats, LD Undusk, just going up <laughs> right now. <laughs> Listen, what is the point of a live stream if at least once you do not engage in mob mentality memeing? That is true. It's, it's like peak chat. <laughs> true. Like, you gotta... Like, massage the hive mind. Massage the hive mind was a sentence I didn't think I'd hear today. You know what? English is a very mutable language, and we can make new sentences however we want, such as... Yeah. I think Psylocke in a wedding dress would look good on a postcard. That's just fact. Okay, but have you said that sentence before in your life? No. Touché. <laughs> hmm. Understandable. All right. But it looks like we are going to do a winner's interview here. Oh boy, I gotta confuse people with me and Undust. Gotta confuse people with our voices. Oh no. <laughs> yes. He's gonna be staring at uh at, at the channel here, just making sure that uh, I, don't, I don't I don't get confused here. <laughs> All right. Let's see. 
Um. See what is oh. the plan? Yeah. Here? What are we gonna do here? Should we just like you know just yoink? Uh, no, I'll wait until they uh until they until they let let us in or they uh or they drag us down. Or they what, migrate what, over what? here. Like. Uh, That's true. 50. 50. That's true. That's true. But. Pretty, again, it's a really fun situation going on here. And yeah, a really fun, he, like, tournament overall, I would say. I agree. I think that this turned out quite well. It'll be very interesting to see how those boards uh, escalate uh, as we move deeper into the tournament, because I don't know if you watched, well, last IS, uh, the IS3 bingo lockout tournaments, but some of those boards got gnarly. I'm talking, Ooh. like, ending two, ending three. It got rough. Ooh. Yeah, I'm wondering. Like, I'm wondering because, like, this is this is a show match, right? So, I'm I'm operating under the assumption that these bingo boards would not look the same, obviously, because clearly everyone kind of got a good look at it. So, so assuming it's not like oh, pre pre knowledge or something. It's like no, no, no. We'll be. So I'm assuming it's gonna be something wilder. I wonder if they're gonna bring. I, I wonder if they're gonna keep the uh, the alternating one and seeing if people are able to do that, or are they I just like nah? We're just messing around with this one and see what happens. I think legally speaking, that like violates some law of psychic damage. That is true, there will be some of that going on. Although I do believe, if I remember right, that um, people can submit tile. Uh, people, like, yeah, just, yeah. They, know, they can submit tiles to, um, you know, to, to bring in, you know, kind of crowdsource some ideas here. Yes, I believe we have finalized our boards for the actual matches, but, uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm not saying that I submitted anything, but hypothetically, if I did, it might be full of birds. Use five birds. Use all birds. If you see anything bird-related, just blame Zion and call it a day. I mean, what? Uh, there is definitely not perform a one-op reduction with Magdalen or use Helliger's 25% of the time, 100% of the time. Um, definitely not. Not my fault. I feel like that'd be extra evil if you're like, yeah, you gotta hit every single RNG chance. Go. No, no. Actually, I think it's uh, hit every enemy with Arketo. Oh God. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Blue box and go, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Run us too. Let's go! Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Hope that it works. Hope that it all works out. Hope that it all works out. Uh, I don't know. If, if what would you make if you made some tiles? Like yours would all be dragon related, right? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Honestly, one of them might just straight up say, "Use the correct skill for Cecil and just see what happens." Or so like, that's W skill too, right? Grumble, grumble. Comment. <laughs> grumble, grumble. Oh dear, I think Wookie's on his way to uh, my house, so uh, I'm gonna start running. Bye, chat. Please ignore the please ignore the, the screeching car along the way. <laughs> no, I, I think a legit fun one. I mean, if I, if I was gonna send one, I'd be saying, like, debuff an enemy with a Weaver or something. Hmm. And see what, see see how they, see, see, check, do a, do a Dragon Knowledge check. There's the, you know, there's the obvious easy answer there, right? You know, if you throw on, like, a side, like, S3, right? Just, like, quick, eh. Right, pump, true, pump, pump, there. You got the, you got the stun. You got the fragile, right? You can do that. Or, or, you know. I feel like you could also have some very interesting interplay with, like Psylocke and her defense upgrade on her skill. Two is that correct? The healing yep. one. Yeah, skill two. Mm -hmm. Like have ta have Psylocke tank a hit from insert, tank like insert heavy hitting enemy here, but like, or have a Vanguard tank an enemy from that yeah. hit. Yeah, and yeah. survive. You can might be able to choose Although, that one. Let, let's be real. Everyone would just use Saga skill too, <laughs> or Saga oh, for talent. Yeah. Yeah. It's just. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That you know, the, the, the whole be, being not able to die on the first hit is quite useful, from from my experience. I think, like, given that we just came out of come catastrophes and wakes of vultures, um, like, I think people just got reminded of the valuableness of immortality, talents, and skills. You're saying you don't like watching someone flashbang down the hammer through your entire team? Uh, sorry, I can't hear you over the sound of Bart and Totter and Fiamat going on. Ah, Alright, it looks like a uh, team Unfuzzy is ready for the interview. Alrighty, looks like here they, here they are. are. Welcome winners.
that saying that there's something up? Did we, did we make music? Or? I see a few my ears and audio going on. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of talk, stuff about the music. Let's take a look here. Hey, wait a second, why is a fang in my box? You didn't consent to this. <laughs> I don't want a fang in my box. Un Undust, we can, we can probably do it, we can probably do this. Sarcasm Reaver! Dragon or Sarcasm! Oh great, do I have to like, do a Mr. Nothing Coalition with, Z with Zafang over here? <laughs> but he won, so like... <laughs> what? <laughs> what <laughs> oh no! Well, he didn't go on strike, his mic decided to go on strike, apparently. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate. Hi! There he is! Uh Zap, why do you sound like you're in a toilet? <laughs> <laughs> Is it? It's, it's better, it's better now. Yeah, you no longer sound like you're downshifting on the highway. <laughs> <laughs> they can't hear you! <laughs> I, we're, we're talking to our imaginations right now. We're talking to our imaginations right now. <laughs> Wait, so Undusk was part of me the whole time? They are the same person. I knew them. This is what happens when I don't take my medication. Take your medication, chat. I took my medication. Uh, yeah, I, the chat is saying that the music is really overpowering. Zai, wait, Zai, you, 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 uh, be, be, the, be the English dub for Undusk. <clears throat> Hi, guys, I'm Undusk. I really like Sarcas. I'm so glad that I got to win this because I used Sarcas, even though I didn't. They were all Sarcas because Sarcas is who we are on the inside. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> we're doing some, uh, doing some audio, audio checks here while Zai and I continue to... Do shenanigan re. You should you should just put it in your mouth. Consume the by yeah. Looks like they're looks like the audio is not quite there yet. Um. So Zai, what what bird tile would you would you would you consider putting in then? Hmm. Hmm. See, there's just so many funny things that you could do with birds. Hmm. Have two hands. Hello? Big Chungus? Big Chungus? Big Chungus? Well, wait, I just yeah, realized. Okay. If chat can't hear me, then I'm just saying Big Chungus. Or if chat can't hear you, I'm just saying Big Chungus randomly. And then you I look insane. <laughs> you did not just say Big Chungus randomly. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't hear the thing. Oh god. Hello, hello, big big chungus. He's trying to free himself from containment. Oh I mean, that Cast is <laughs> audible now, but oh, they can no. barely hear him. Um the real Zafang was the voice inside your head. Is he is he free now? Is, is, he, is he free? free? Wait, are we audible? It's okay, they can hear Zafang. Can you can you hear on dusk? Chat sounds like they're rejoicing that they can hear Zafang. Wait, so then the they question, might... did you hear like a very soft like Chungus in the background before you hear <laughs> Zafang <really>? big Chungus? <laughs> okay, surely we're good, right? Can we, can we clip I that? I think we're good. Oh All right. god. I, are, are, <laughs> Zafang is heard, the question is, is, is Undusk heard? I feel like maybe they're just mistaking me for Zai. Undusk okay. louder than me. All right, oh, I can, I I can move away. Mic. Here, I'll All move right, away from like the... A. Sounds like we're What's good to go. It's me, Mr. Zafang21. I've moved away from my mic. Okay, the good news is everything is working. So I I, I think that means we can do we can do We can do the interview. interview. We can finally All right, do interview. let's go. Woo. So congratulations, Undusk the renowned Sarcast player and Zafang21, not to be confused with Afang22, organizer of the previous bingo lockouts. How do you guys feel? Yo, what the hell? That's my title, not Mr. Specialist Vice Player. What is this? What what is this special treatment? 
Um, I just spent the last 45 minutes getting yelled at Zafang. Uh, by Zafang. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, at I'm some point, so he asked me to sorry. pick a folder tall, and I listened to which one he told me to pick, and I just picked the opposite one by accident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, just, I started cackling, and I'm, I'm sure I'm dusted too. <laughs> well, like, he told me to take like a different caster, and he was too late on that, and I'd already locked in like Mastuma. And then immediately after, he's like, take this folder tall, and I took the opposite one for no, no reason at all. <laughs> I'll take <laughs> I want you guys to know that we thought that you were going for the deploy one operator of each class, and I was like, mark my words, we they're going for a okay, supporter voucher, wait, and they're the going to get the Larkvin. They're going to get that the Larkvin. That was a tile? Yeah, that was yeah. a tile. I, I, I was trying to get that in the final moments, but we, we could not get a fucking sniper tile for the life of us. So, yeah. Sometimes oh, wait, yeah, we like didn't that. have a sniper. That is true. Yeah, dude, the whole time. I, I, don't I was, he, so... I didn't know what he was looking for. He just kept saying, we need a voucher. And I'm like, okay, what do you want me to fucking do about that? I can't fix this. I, I can't remind give you a voucher. Yeah, don't, don't go uh, order food as a fag. What do you want to eat as a fag? Restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> just go to restaurant. Every Which time one? we need a combat after the like third floor boss, the fang was like, we need a voucher right now. And I'm like, I, what, do you, what do you want me to do? I can't get a voucher. Hey guys, my bad. I, I think I just realized how Wrath of Syracuse came to be. Zafang was trying to follow a recipe for pasta and cook dessert instead. No, <laughs> no. Honestly, I feel like chocolate pasta wouldn't be that bad. I think I, I, I don't think that's a discussion we should get in right now. Let's. Well, okay. <laughs> well, to get back on track a little bit here, I think the. Something Zai and I did notice when we were watching you guys do, uh, you know, go through with the navigation of IS-4, we did see the shenanigan with, like, the doggo that just kind of left and ended that particular run. Oh my god, What? Yeah. What oh, happened okay, there? So, so I, I to... didn't know what he wanted me to do. <laughs> I, I was trying to get Andas to play a column tree roll one, which is deploy each operator on a dominant tile at least once. So I was like, okay, deploy units to deploy executor here. And then I, I guess Adas was just waiting for me to, to uh, give an I didn't know order. if he was going to keep backseating me or not, so I was just sitting there like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I can't tell! I, I didn't late. know if it was like, because like, like, when you said, do you need me to tell you what to do because we have to deploy everything in a Dominion tile, I was like, oh, okay. So what do you want? Like, I was just kind of confused at that point because like, yeah, <laughs> that was My given bad. no instruction. And you have My to understand, head. like, I can't tell, like, what you're doing, like, when, because, like, now that I think about it, if it was just deploying every Dominion tile, I could have just, like, caught the dog and then, yo, like, yo, left. I, I, I couldn't have, I couldn't have uh, said it directly, okay, cut me some slack here. Speaking of which, we, yes. we want to know one of, like, how you would have handled one of the tiles, especially Yuzafang. So one of the tiles was kill... Clear a stage by killing enemies, alternating between one kill to a oh, high ground and one God. kill to a low ground. And I was like, how do you communicate that without saying that verbatim? Okay, so yeah, I, I did have an idea for this. Yes, exactly. Once we got a fast Yo, they were literally just compatible. <laughs> Either that, or, or we just got a soccer skill um, encounter, and hopefully that would be much easier. Yeah. You were gonna make but me we... go rob the sarcasm girl? I I'm sorry. We you said you could take her. Yeah, but I mean like as in like you know, not um, like rob uh... her. You were Let's gonna make me rob me her? That way you could uh take her. But... I was gonna take her on a nice yeah. water date. Ah, I see. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> that's like that's robbery. That tile didn't say you had to do it perfectly, so theoretically yeah, exactly. speaking, you could have just killed two things and left. Exactly. Exactly. Like, I just killed two dogs, done, leak everything else, we good. See, me Easy. and Zafang, we're vibing. You guys but are just compatible. Fortunately for us, we got 17 points, so we win. In the end, it I didn't even realize we were winning because Zafang, like, navigates me like we're about to lose. <laughs> Honestly, I, I I thought we were gonna lose. Every I, every yeah. few seconds, the Fang likes talks with such urgency. I thought we were dying. Honestly, not a bad two, idea. On, on our screen, on the bingo board, there's two people that that were uh that were changing the colors. It was mostly Lucky and uh, Glow, just some tournament organizers. 
and both of them were on red, but my brain was not working. So I was like, oh shit. That, that, that means that we are both on equal points. It's it's red and red, it's 14 and 14. No, so we got this 14 Wait, so you were stressing me out because you're illiterate? <laughs> what? My bad. What? Yeah, and then, and then eventually the, the, the color changed to blue. And I was like, oh, we are winning by a huge margin. Oh. <laughs> and oh you just God. think to like, you know, tell me to stop freaking out? I thought we were yeah, like I, one I point from know losing. You were freaking out. I thought we were losing the whole time. Yo, I, I thought we were losing too. <laughs> well, it looks like it's a famous you, mean, you thought we were losing. You can see the yeah, board. Our, our greatest enemy is ourselves. It is what? a known fact that Niche Knights players perform better when under immense amounts of pressure. This is true. This it's is like... not. Th I feel like my worst strategies happen when you give me the least amount of. Actually, no, that's that's true. Never mind. I do better when yeah. I have less time. Every <laughs> every every niche player in this room. Nah, that tracks. Yeah, I real. I remembered how CC twelve went, and I'm like, oh no, yeah, it oh was the last forty eight hours. Hey, speaking of which, where's that CC twelve uh, Assert guys video? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, next question, please. So, how what are you gonna do with your victory? Um. I have to go back Long to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if you guys don't already know, and Dusk and Denbo have been incredibly hard at work for the wait, upcoming. Wait, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm physically grabbing you. You have to stay here for the thank you session. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, uh, congrats, uh, LB, and Dusk session their, too. No. For all their work. <laughs> yeah, and I hope you guys has... have a good weekend. Wait, wait, where are you? You're leaving us? No, no, no. I, I'm still gonna be here. It's just you know, like like getting ready for the weekend that they've prepped for. You know, you feel me? He's, he's going yeah. to the big vendetta in the sky. Can we can uh... we get a thanks, LD Undusk, in the chat because Undusk has been managing so many things: social media posts, content creator, uh, wrangling, setting up the TO rules, and of course the show match, and also spending incalculable amounts of time staring at sarcasm. Don't forget that. I, also, I, guess, wait, wait, I, I get paid I to do to that? Also, yeah. answer a billion of my questions. <laughs> Let's go. But yes, a big, a big oh, thank yeah, you to yeah. LD Undusk, please, for all of their hard work on this. I've done, yeah. actually, I've literally done nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my about. god, what a lie. They all say. What they all say. <laughs> nothing. Background, there's like 18 different fires happening. <laughs> I've done nothing at all. Anyways. <laughs> this is um, badly a true. Speaking of speaking of doing nothing at all, I have a lot of uh, nothing that I'm supposed to be working on <laughs> right now. Oh exactly, actually, you know, like uh, there's what the real bingo that's holiday. happening this weekend. And uh, yo, yo, what things. are you saying about our match? Huh? You think that was a real bingo? Sorry, After my, my bad. blood, sweat, and tears. After me ignoring this. you by accident twice, <laughs> you stressed out for nothing. <laughs> my bad. Sorry, this was real bingo. This was real bingo. We got to that's like kiss and everything. Yeah. Maybe the real bingo was the yaoi we made along the way. The reason why we're separated on stream is because we'd actually be kissing right now. I I didn't realize that the Zafang ship options had expanded, but uh, hey, the more we know. The more you know. Hey man, with Egon, I have a vacancy <laughs> that needs to be Wait, filled. am I just like the sloppy- wait, hold on. Oh, second. <laughs> before, before we, before okay, we well... take that extra further step. Before this gets too sussy. Before it starts getting too sussy, I think we should start wrapping it up at the end here. Again, reminder of the act of the main tournament. The, again, this was the show match. It was real bingo, but it was a real show match bingo. But the tournament will be on this weekend, depending on your time zone. Whether, you know, I, I think if you're in North America, it starts on Friday. If you're not in North America, it might start earlier. It just depends on, you know, again, depends on timing. Tournament will be sponsored by Arknights EN, reminder. So, pretty uh, pretty nifty thing that the sponsorship continues. Yeah, be sure to tune in. We, uh, who knows, we might see some people pop up. Insert some... vague, ominous hand gestures here. Maybe more funny and more interviews. Maybe more things from Navigator and Explorer shenanigans. Should be fun to see how they... How our navigators and our explorers work together, and we'll see who takes it in the end over the weekend.